Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I've got a new fish to show off to all of you. This is a new tank replacing the um, blue-tailed goody tank that failed on me. So it's just another 10 gallon. I just went ahead and since my racks um, are all sized to fit 10 gallons, I just replaced it. And it took me a long time to decide what to put in here. I was debating whether to split one of my bracky colonies, put it in here, um, mainly the um, cardinal brackies, because that one's kind of busting at the seams. But um, I went ahead and I tried to do some auctions for some cool stuff. And I've got to tell you guys, I failed at so many auctions. I mean, down to the wire, and people were outbidding me on Aquabid like you wouldn't believe. But I did finally land these guys. This is a, another Goody species from Mexico. This one is called uh, Illidon Whiteyeye. And it's um, named for a gentleman... I think his name was A.E. White or something like that. He basically helped one of the um, kind of main taxonomist biologist guys that was doing work on a lot of these goodies. So it's, they're named in his honor. And uh, the common name is the um, Balsas split fin, named for the Rio Balsas in Mexico. And um, this particular group comes from the Rio Hamito, which is a kind of a tributary of that main river. So anyways, I've got five of them. Um, they did not ship in great condition. And part of it is, is that these goodies are really sensitive, I think, to water quality. So as soon as the bags that they were in started, you know, getting kind of polluted, I lost a couple in shipment, and then you can see there's one in here in particular that's got kind of a bad, I don't know if it's like a ammonia burn or a fungus problem. I've got some treatment in the water, so they look a lot better. I just received them yesterday, and um, they're, they've really perked up. You can see that they're doing a little bit of scraping still. I think they just got a little bit of... Um, ammonia burn on their scales, but they, they seem to be doing okay. They're, um, you know, they're not the most colorful of fish, but um, really interesting nevertheless. So, just a little bit about this tank in particular. I was out of town last week for work and stopped in at a lake that I know of and there's a little river that comes out of the, the, it's kind of an alpine, not super alpine, but mountain lake. And it's got this uh, Potagetan, I think it's Crispus, but I don't know exactly. I don't know if I can keep it alive because they do need pretty cool water. Um, but goodies don't need very warm water either. And I've got the, the heater basically... It's not quite turned down as low as it can go, but I think it's set at about 70. And uh, so we'll see. If it starts to melt, I can move it outside to the container ponds. I have also think I've pulled another plant out of there, and I think that's Potagetum gay. Um, again, they look so, it looks so similar to guppy grass, but I would say that when I pulled this up, it did have a pretty good root system. Whereas I've never seen guppy grass actually rooted. You know, I've seen it sent down trailing roots, but so I'm not exactly sure. And I, they look, you know, the leaf structure on both of those plants looks so similar that I'm not quite sure. But I think that is also another species of Potagetum, which would match this species in the wild. They, um, in Mexico. So that's pretty cool. And then I just got some cobble from the river there smaller cobble so it's up against the front here kind of mimicking their natural kind of environment and then I've just got some eco complete kind of mounted in the back as a rooting medium so anyways that's these guys they look 
really nice. I just, when you get a new colony like this, you're always worried whether you get males and females or if you've just got females. And I won't know for a little while. <clears throat> the males will get kind of an edging to their, a yellow edging to their fins. But they look really nice. And hopefully I can get these guys going. They really like to be up here in the cobbles. I think they feel like they blend in. And they, they have kind of, they look almost like immature trout to me. You know, they've got that kind of speckly long body look of a immature trout. And they look really nice. And I just hope this one that came in, I don't even see him or her yet, but she's got a real bad patch of fungus. But again, I've got it treated. They've only been here, in here for a day. So I hope that she comes along. So anyways, quick update there. Not a lot going else on in the fish room, but I'll get another update done this weekend and uh, show something else off. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.